Hey, what's up, my chemistry people? Who is ready for a thriller of a free response practice question? Try to stay seated, but I totally understand if you have to get up because you're just too excited. Octane is a hydrocarbon and an alkane with the chemical formula C8H18 and is a common component in gasoline. Oh, college board, you're always making connections to real life chemistry. A 1.00 mole sample of octane is a liquid at 65 degrees Celsius. The sample is heated uniformly to 185 degrees Celsius. The heating curve for the sample at standard pressure is shown below. Boom! Part A. Determine the boiling point of octane at standard pressure. Alright, pretty straightforward, but commonly missed. We're told that octane is a liquid at 65 degrees Celsius, so this sloping segment of the graph of the heating curve represents the liquid phase. Many times, students look at that and say, oh, that's the solid phase. So my liquid phase must be up here. Read carefully. Interpret your graph carefully. So the point at which my octane will begin to boil then is at this plateau region, 125 degrees Celsius. 125 degrees Celsius. Boom, that's it, one point, moving along. Part B, calculate the amount of heat needed to completely vaporize 1.00 mole of the sample of octane originally at 65 degrees Celsius. The molar heat capacity of the substance in the liquid phase is 255 joules per mole degree Celsius. And the heat of vaporization of the substance is 41.0 kilojoules per mole. All right, so we've got 1.00 moles of octane originally at 65 degrees Celsius. Recall that on the sloping segments, we're going to use MCAT. Boom. I put 1.00 mole. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Boylan. I thought M was mass. You're putting in moles. This is true. But notice that the specific heat capacity is given to us in joules per mole degree Celsius. So totally fine. Times 255 joules per mole degree Celsius. Now for our temperature change, recall that it's final minus initial. We're going to heat it up to 125 degrees Celsius where it'll start to boil. 125 minus 65 degrees. Calculator. So to two sig figs, two because I'm only going to have two six figs here after I subtract 15,000 joules or 15 kilojoules. All right, I'm feeling pretty great about myself, but in order to completely vaporize it, we're not done. All we've done is got it to its boiling point. It hasn't completely vaporized. We're here. We need to get to here. That's where the heat of vaporization comes in. 41.0 kilojoules per mole. So Q is equal to number of moles times heat of vaporization. 1.00 times 41.0 kilojoules per mole. Don't even need a calculator. Q equals 41.0 kilojoules. So total amount of heat required, 15 kilojoules plus 41.0 kilojoules equals 56 kilojoules. Boom. Don't forget to watch your sig figs on this one. Don't forget to watch your units. Tricky. A second 1.00 mole sample of liquid octane is combusted with excess oxygen gas in a bomb calorimeter. Part C, write a balanced equation for the complete combustion of octane gas. C8. H18. Combustion, which means we need some oxygen, producing carbon dioxide gas and water vapor. Remember, when balancing combustion equation, balance the carbon first, boom, then balance the hydrogen because it appears only once on either side, boom. Then we get to oxygen. I have a total of 16 plus 9 or 25 oxygen. And there's no whole number that I can use to get 25 here. So let's just slip in 12.5. This would balance my equation, although not with whole number coefficients. So then ask yourself, what can I multiply all of my coefficients by so we can get them all into whole numbers? Answer two. Boom. Balanced smallest whole number ratio. Part D. Using the heat of formation data below, calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction in part C. Easy. Enthalpy change of a reaction from heat of formation data. Boom! On your formula chart. My products. 16 moles 
of carbon dioxide plus 18 moles of water. 18 times negative 285.3. Let's do the reactants. Two moles, boom, plus 25 moles. Oh my goodness, I can't do this. They didn't give me it in the data table. <laughs> No, it's an element. Recall that elements in their standard states have enthalpies of formation of zero kilojoules per mole. <sighs> Calculator. 16 times negative 393.5 insert plus parentheses 18 times negative 285.3 plus parentheses insert minus new parentheses two times negative 250 plus parentheses insert. Delta H is equal to negative 10,931.4 kilojoules per mole of reaction. Boom. Part E is the amount of heat required to completely vaporize 1.00 mole of liquid octane originally at 65 degrees greater than, less than, or equal to the amount of heat released in the combustion of 1.00 mole of liquid octane. Justify your response. Well, let's recall that the amount of heat required to vaporize one mole of liquid octane was 56 kilojoules. And the amount of heat released in the combustion of 1.00 mole of liquid octane was not 10,931.4. That's the amount of heat released for two moles of octane. So the combustion of one mole is gonna be negative 5,465.7. It's gonna be negative 5,470 kilojoules. So as you compare the amount of heat absorbed in the process of vaporization versus the amount of heat released in the process of combustion, way more heat is given off in the combustion of one mole of octane than is absorbed in the vaporization of, of one mole of octane. The amount of heat required to vaporize 1.00 moles octane originally at 65 degrees Celsius is less than the amount of heat released in the combustion of 1.00 moles of octane. Boom, and we are done.